Hello my beautiful soul tribe welcome back to my channel this is Neetu in today's pick a card reading we are going to bring forth messages from the angelic realm from your guardian angel or archangel or any angels that you work with right now and if you have been waiting for the messages signs or or a general guidance from them then this pick a card reading is for you even otherwise these messages are going to help you guide you and um, give you the comfort and the love that you are um uh, that you deserve all right so let's bring forth those beautiful messages today all right as as usual i have three piles for you pile number one two and three i'll also be placing feathers on top of each pile so that uh, you can select based on what you're drawn to and once you make your selection scroll down to the description box down below and click on the timestamps that is with respect to your particular pile that you have selected and that is going to be your loving beautiful guidance messages from the angelic realm all right for group number one we have um, this feather and for group number two for group number three all right group number one two and three make your selection pick whichever that you are drawn to at the moment and we will uh, bring forth all the messages that you need right now from the angelic realm i'll be starting with group number one now welcome group number one if you have selected this beautiful feather this reading is for you um i'm i'm hearing this message something will be revealed in time if you have been waiting for an uh, offer or if you have applied for something a home loan or a job offer or if you have been waiting for the new job offer or uh, if you have asked for a raise or anything that is pending it will be revealed in time the information will be given to you in time for you to take action so don't dread this period uh, where you don't know what to do and you are a little confused or sort of feeling agitated that you don't know what is that you're supposed to be doing so that's a confirmation from the angelic realm that you will know in due time what is that you're supposed to do and um, and the information or or the offer that you have been waiting for will be given to you at the right time so do not worry or overthink about the situation is uh, is what i'm hearing for you and let's see what are the messages that they have Okay, so we have fertility and uh, heart chakra. Look at all that green. So the messages are very clear here. It's about fertility. If you have been waiting for again, if you have been trying to conceive and it is not happening, it is it is definitely going to happen. You are entering into this period of fertility where uh, your heart your mind your soul is in alignment to bring forth all the manifestation that you have been waiting for all right it is going to happen things will come to you things are going to be aligned and will be revealed to you in time so do not worry about um or overthink about things uh, all right and also have number three and number four this is progression moving to the next phase next level of your life of your of growth that you have been seeking again i'm talking about the growth in career, uh, business opportunities and things like that where you have been waiting for your next uh, game, uh, you know, or the next project or the next step or the promotion or a new job offer. And your angels are telling you um, that uh, you are entering into this um, period of absolute fertility where, uh, where whatever your heart seeks or desires like completely in resonance with your soul purpose it will be revealed to you you will be moving forward in that direction not to worry about that there may be period of slowness now like i'm sensing this energy being very slow and you don't know what to do about it your angels the messages that they are giving is just just embrace being in this moment of not knowing everything because it will be revealed in time and also heart chakra this is about um you becoming completely aware of what is that you want and uh, um 
yeah really getting in tune with your heart and understanding what it desires what is that you truly desire and that is where the growth is if you have been trying hard in the wrong direction this is the moment um, the angelic realm is telling you to realign yourself this is the moment of realignment for you to choose what brings joy what what brings freedom um what doesn't feel like chore what feels like fun and happiness even if you're working it has to bring you joy and happiness into your life and uh, that is what your uh, angels are telling you that this is a moment of realignment and uh, putting yourself into the space of um uh, being okay with not knowing things and things will be revealed to you at the right moment and also meanwhile they want you to really understand tune in and ask yourself what brings true joy into my life because this is a period of manifestation for you you're about to enter into this period of manifestation things getting aligned you becoming aware of all that um you want in your life so you better choose right you better align yourself towards the direction that brings a lot of joy and happiness to you let let joy be your compass let bliss be your compass not not what others tell you what to do but rather uh, you you align yourself where or what is bringing you happiness and that is very important for you group number 1 and uh, yeah be strong things are things are happening it is getting aligned you have done a lot of work you have been waiting for certain things to happen to be revealed or waiting for the next step next movement forward but it but it doesn't happen or it is not happening as fast as you wish it would happen and trust the flow yeah exactly <laughs> they are very clear here just trust the flow you don't have to know everything because we are going to bring everything uh, together once you feel comfortable with being in the current situation and that is where the magic happens and that is where the situation is going to become much more easier for us to guide you through and um, uh, there will be very less resistance if you become uh, all right with uh, with not knowing things at the moment because it will be revealed in time they are telling you to be strong and as i'm talking i saw the number 777 Uh, and again it is about spiritual alignment the number 7 is a spiritual number which means there is a divine intervention that is happening uh, uh, that uh, is that is helping you with this realignment period of your life all right so do not give up be strong though no matter what the situation looks like around you um and you are going to make it you are going to win this you are going to become uh, what you are desiring to become all right a rich a successful famous um or or a mother or if you want to conceive a child things are happening do not give up um just be okay Uh, at the moment with the situation and things are going to unfold you are definitely stepping into the most joyous period of your life and um, really take advantage of this period to realign your thoughts your desires and your dreams so that the manifestation that occurs is in sync with what you want and not what you don't want you don't want to experience things that brings the worst out of you right so this is a situation where you help yourself manifest the right things for you okay spiritual growth absolutely the number 77 this is about spiritual growth um and uh, moving forward and also resilience i'm hearing the word resilience for you and these are all the spiritual uh, uh, uh you know anything that you are doing no matter even if you are focused on material things it is still the spiritual growth for you you are learning to be resilient you are learning to be patient you are learning to um, be okay with not being okay you are learning to embrace all your emotions and you are learning to embrace to be content with the current situation so these are all spiritual growth all right and if you are consciously doing the work on raising your vibration and you have been trying too hard uh, to maintain that um, that alignment or mind uh, focus and things like that it is all going to be worth it all right don't think that you are wasting your time you are not you are growing every single day with every single situation that is thrown at you so really take advantage of it yeah transformation 
your heart chakra transformation spiritual growth all your hard work is paying off all right all your hard work your patience and all that you have been working on yourself if you have been consciously working on uh, your shortcomings uh, or if you have been working on improving yourself in any area of your life it is all going to pay you are going to step into the next level so do not give up on yourself or the situation because you are about to get very very lucky group number 1 wow look at that the door wide open fulfillment absolutely this heavenly door is opening up for you with all the opportunities and all that you are seeking you are you are about to enter the other side of the door the other side of the um, uh, the story all right you have seen one phase of the story you are about to enter into the um, next part of the story where it is all going to feel really really good it's like you feel like wow it was all worth it all that i did it is it, it was absolutely totally worth it and you'll have a story to tell to others uh, on how not to give up on yourself and how to uh, you, you know just bounce back even if you fall you just get up and keep going and you you have you will have so much story to tell to the new younger generation or or to your friends or your family and you're going to be that example people look up to all that was possible because of the uh, hard path or a difficult path that you took and you did not give up and your guides are telling your angels are telling you the message from the angelic realm is get ready to fly because you have earned the wings all right wow that is so beautiful and that is the message i have for you group number 1 if you have like please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye Welcome group number 2 before we start your reading i want to tell you a quick a small uh, thing that happened um, you know before i started the reading i was selecting the feathers like i intuitively select for whatever pile because i don't know what the cards are so i just pick up things and put it there and everything will be aligned for you the feather i picked i lost that feather you know when i was keeping it aside or somewhere it just flew and i don't know where it is after the reading i have to go and search for it i lost that and i was like thinking why why that happened and then they showed me this feather and they told me to keep this feather for you which means the message is very clear for me here that you may think that you lost something you may think that things are not working out because it wasn't meant to be there is something better for you so if you for people if it resonates right now it's like um some things didn't work out for you because there was better things planned which uh, you wouldn't have possibly uh, thought of all right you've limit your um your desires and dreams but universe has much bigger plans for you and the feather that i chose was a little smaller than this and this is what your angels chose for you this white feather and i thought this is absolute um uh, a clear message that to be conveyed to you which means there is something better for you so don't lose heart if you if something didn't work out if that relationship didn't work out or you uh, that job offer you did not get or anything for that matter it wasn't meant to be so there is something better waiting for you that is a beautiful message for you to begin with all right conflict and defeat yeah choose wisely <laughs> absolutely i mean this is very very clear so conflict and defeat if you feel defeated something didn't work out for you you had sort of a downfall in this area or whatever area that that comes to your mind if 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 it did not happen the way you wanted or you dreamt about it was because it wasn't for you all right you weren't supposed to be in the situation or to experience this because there is something better that 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 is waiting to enter into your life all right so choosing wisely number 7 even group number 1 uh had the strong number 7 uh, for you i'm also seeing a uh, 12 12 all right that is a uh, 3 and 3 that is growth um 
and moving forward um expansion so your angels of uh, the messages from the angelic realm is do not lose your heart uh, do not worry um even if you are in the situation that is really not working out and you're trying really hard to make it happen probably it wasn't supposed to um get better at all because there is something absolutely good wonderful waiting for you um and and that is going to be absolutely um um deserving all right you deserve better you deserve uh, much more happiness and you deserve everything more all right you are limiting yourself and the angels are telling you it's all right if things are not working out or you lost something or relationship did not go well or you uh, lost the job or that job that you wanted so badly didn't happen the message here is very clear there will be many other options that will be shown to you and you will be guided to choose uh, to choose the right one. one so choose wisely there are multiple options that will be presented this is not the end of life do not get fixated on this loss because there is something better that we have planned for you that is much more deserving um that is that brings much more happiness in in alignment with your desires and dreams all right so do not worry things happens for a reason and um, and the reason is always for your good um that is a very clear strong message that i'm receiving group number 2 okay honor life cycle and uh, be content yeah absolutely some things were not meant to be um there forever or right some things were meant to live some things are some things were meant to just disrupt and create chaos in your life create that conflict in your life so that uh, so that you know exactly what is that you want uh, so that your heart can resonate to with um with something something different um or or not limit yourself all right um, they are repeating the word you are trying to limit yourself you are trying to limit yourself but you are like uh, this light being uh, which has the cap capability to light the entire world entire universe but you you just assume that you are one small um um a small torch that only illuminates one small spot or right i don't know that is the image that they are showing like you have so much of potential but you are limiting yourself you deserve a harmonious relationship but you are somehow assuming that no i think i deserve this pain and suffering and things like that uh, but your angels the angelic realm is trying to tell you that no you deserve more don't discount your um your truth don't don't limit yourself and uh stay in the trap uh just honor honor yourself and uh, things are going to change all right something better will be replaced uh in the place of whatever you lost something better is about to enter just be content with yourself be happy with yourself self love self respect self confidence it is all about self is what i'm hearing it is about time for you to realize that uh you you deserve so much better and um, and you are so beautiful inside out and you are capable of um you know like you are you are the reservoir of love and uh, happiness and joy don't dim your light all right so that is such a strong message i'm receiving don't dim your light for any reason cancel cut and release wow this is absolutely clear and like they are not at all trying to riddle things here they are they are being very straight the angelic realm your angels or guardian angel is being very very clear now um you know like clear cancel and release some things is supposed supposed to live they are not supposed to stay in your life they are supposed to live don't try to hold on to it don't force yourself to stay in the situation even if it is not working out and you know that maybe this is not for me don't try to hold on to it just because it feels familiar 
just just get out of the situation if it feels like you have reached the dead end stop watering the dead plant this is a time for you to clear cancel and release anything that is not yours because there is something better waiting to enter and replace that harmony and resolution for some of you it could be a relationship issue where um things went south uh, some things didn't work out uh whatever the situation that that comes to your mind but i'm getting this uh, relationship situation for some of you some things weren't meant to be some things weren't meant to better itself you know um it's okay if it is not working out you don't have to fix it on um get mending things or um, or putting a bandaid and forgetting that it has to heal from it, uh, within putting a bandaid won't work you have to allow the own to heal by accepting that you, there there is something more that you should be doing not just putting a bandaid on the wound and covering it and assuming that you know what it is going to be fine no the the problem is much more deeper than just putting a small bandaid uh, than just a small cut this is this is a major decision making period for you group number 2 uh, yeah higher thought there is much more higher things waiting for you group number 2 don't get disheartened don't think that uh, things are falling apart actually it's a good thing that things are falling apart so that you will realize and understand what is right for you don't try to hold on to things that is that isn't bringing you happiness joy that is only uh, causing lot of chaos just just see the truth for what it is don't try to uh, sugar coat things anymore in your life just uh, 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 telling yourself that it's okay things are going to be better tomorrow day after maybe the person will change maybe the boss will change maybe the things will change and yeah sometimes it does but i think in your case it's it's a decision making moment for you and for others of you have already made the decision and and are in this situation of fearing oh my god what's next the next is going to be amazing all right so so stop worrying let the dead dead leaves fall and the new leaf fresh green vibrant life force filled leaf to grow in that place of dead leaf all right so that is what the angelic realm is bringing for the messages for you to not to lose heart because they have better plans you got to trust in the plan they got your back all right so that is the message for you if you have any um i think that you have to say you can drop me a email and we can even talk if you're going through a, a hard time but anyway these are the messages as of now i'll see you in my next video if you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel like the video and share love you all take care bye bye welcome group number 3 if you have selected this beautiful feather this reading is for um you the message that i'm getting for you group number 3 is there is lot of noise around you um, not now i mean the message from the angels is like there is lot of noise within you and around you and you are always either busy in your mind or you are always busy listening to others opinion and things like that and uh, it is too difficult to get through you to deliver the message sometimes because uh, you uh, value others opinion Uh, more than you value your own voice your own beliefs and that is the that is the problem and that that is something which stops you from being your uh by being your highest version because you always uh, assume that yeah maybe what they are telling is true uh without analyzing whether it is truly resonating with you and your uh, angelic team the angelic realm is telling you you have to honor your own voice your own opinions um yeah it's okay to listen to others but um it is always you who takes decision about what is right and what is wrong for you and uh, try not to give so much of importance to others voice others opinions and decisions it has to be your decision and your opinion always so weigh the truth yeah look at that we have the card of truth and balance number 11 number 11 and 20 the truth and balance yeah there is a sort of imbalance in your life as of now because you have you are bombarded with information and suggestions and um 
you just don't know which one is right which one is true which one is for you like they're telling you to really slow down slow down a little bit and find that balance the truth you have to always analyze and weigh what is right for you before um, getting on board and accepting um, everything that you hear all right so that is something your angelic realm is trying to tell you like um, don't don't do that don't give so much of importance to the outside noise uh, try to honor your your own voice your own identity your own abilities uh, but the truth will be revealed to you however and uh, you will know what to do for that you will have to become really silent and uh, uh, sit in silence and listen to your own voice sometimes talk to yourself and ask what is that I want what is that I want to do what is that I want to pursue what uh, what kind of relationship I want to be uh, you know this is giving uh, importance to your own self and understanding what really resonates with you and um, saying no to the rest all right I'm hearing the word no with an exclamation with an exclamatory mark i'm so sorry i was not able to pronounce that okay so uh, like you have to say no you have to learn to say no to the food to the people you know when i say food what what food is not bringing you uh, good health just say no what kind of people are not bringing you the kind of uh, joy and happiness into your life but creating a lot of chaos and confusion just say no um you know like the situation is or or job or whatever this is a period of saying no to things so that you can bring in what is right for you and what you deserve all right this is the time for you to bring you some balance this is a time for you to disconnect from the world and connect within connect within yourself like going to the nature or simply sitting in silence or meditating or uh, or writing writing down your thoughts this is a time for you to listen to your own thoughts and organize them and understand your truth your identity your own self and uh, not not go by what others are trying to tell you or influence you all right so that is what angelic realm is really worried about that you give so much of importance to others and you're forgetting your worth you're forgetting your um, that you are so beautiful you you um, bring this lightness lightheartedness to the world but you become serious because you think that is who you are because people keep telling oh you you are not this you are not that and you simply accept that uh, all right so that is what the angelic realm is a little concerned about at the moment yeah be accommodating it's giving me this um uh, this energy of uh, solar plexus that is the third chakra um, uh, in the lower chakras like this is about your self-confidence your strength your courage um, uh, you know your your confidence like a lion the strength card that is the energy that I'm getting this is the time for you to listen to yourself and accommodate your own dreams and desires and be open to the messages that the angelic realm or the god or the goddess or whatever word that you believe in they are trying to bring forth messages and trying to guide you but uh, you are in the state of non-receptivity you know like um yeah i'm i'm getting this energy of non-receptive you're not open uh, to the guidance from within because you're too focused without the outside world and the and the angelic realm your angels and guides are telling you this is the time for you to accommodate your own self in your own life all right you're accommodating everybody else everybody else's ideas visions and dreams of who you are supposed to be but you have not even honored your own self yet all right or at least not giving enough time to do that and this is the period where they are telling you to really focus on what is that you want in life all right the forgiveness yeah a lot of shadow self coming through for you group number three like um forgiving your own self forgiving others for treating you the way they do because you are giving them the permission to do so by being okay by not talking um by not withdrawing or or by not addressing or by not being vocal uh you know and telling them your opinion your ideas and and when when something doesn't resonate you're not 
you are not saying no and your angelic um, uh, and the angelic realm is telling you this is the time for you to really um, stand in your power this is the time for you to really own your self your identity and uh, be accommodating of yourself and bringing balance into your entire being forgiving others because they are doing because who they are and forgiving yourself because uh, you are being accommodating of all their opinions but this is the time for you to forgive others and yourself and get in sync and in tune with your own truth all right blessings and abundance yeah things are absolutely going to get better there are a lot of blessings and abundance coming through and take charge and action absolutely if you can block others noise and opinion of the world you are going to be so abundant there is going to be a lot of blessings coming your way with all the uh, uh, the action that you are going to take based on your dreams your vision and uh, what is that you want in life which has the potential to bring a lot of blessings and abundance and Um, and put you in charge of your life all right you will be the one who is riding that chariot not not your parents or your spouse or who, or friends or whoever that may be sort of dominating you in your life this is the time for you to uh, you know really pick up that sword um, be be your own strength be your own courage be your own boss be your own mentor be your own um, uh, you know like like really loving falling in love with yourself and with all that you are all right not not listening to others opinion because they are not true you know most of the times they are not true because they are only telling you the story based on what is that they believe uh, is true for them and they are seeing things through their lens and that is not you that is not your mindset so it is absolutely uh, it doesn't make sense for you to be going by others words all right and um, receptivity yeah being open being open for the opportunities blessings love and all that the angelic realm is trying to bring you that you deserve just be open just be open to listen to the voice uh, within and silencing yourself sometimes writing sometimes just going for a walk um going uh, into the nature just taking that vacation taking a break and getting in tune and understanding your own self and taking action towards what your heart is calling you to uh, calling you to do which will bring you a lot of blessings and abundance which is due to come into your life and you're stopping it by not listening to your own voice all right just be open and receptive there is a lot of blessings and love that is about to shower into your life and angels are like we are there you just listen listen to your voice and be open we will bring you the blessings and opportunities that you deserve don't underestimate yourself anymore all right so that is the message i'm getting for you group number 3 if you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye